Welcome to a lesson on transforming graphs, but why should you care? Well, this is why. Let's say we had a graph of x cubed. How would we transform it into x cubed plus 2? In this case all we have to do is add 2 to the y value, which would make it 2 places higher. Be careful though, this doesn't result in 2 horizontal places to the left or right. That amount you'll have to calculate manually. That's nice and everything, but how would we work out the transform for x plus 2 cubed? Before we start, the previous transform is known as a vertical. This is known as a horizontal. To make things easier, let's say we had a letter P which is equal to x plus 2. Let's draw it. Now let's find some values for x and y instead of b and y. Now let's change the axis from b to x. Let's now convert it back to x. These are your values. Horizontal shift we need to shift horizontally by the opposite of what the shift appears to be. Deceptive bastard. It is very important to not get the two confused. For a stretch, all we do is literally stretch the graph vertically. However, stretching is multiplying, so at points such as 0, 0, they'll remain unchanged. Stretching the graph is not moving it, as you see this graph being stretched but not moved. Notice how the zero point is the same since zero times two is still zero. Let's try out a horizontal stretch, but doing the exact same thing as earlier. Now let's compare both graphs side by side. Notice how they both have the same y coordinates but different x coordinates. This is why it is a horizontal stretch, as it is only being stretched horizontally. Just like last time. A horizontal includes doing the opposite of what it appears, where in this case, we have y is equal to 2x cubed, but we end up having to have the x coordinates. Let's try for a vertical reflection. A reflection takes place when you have a negative sign involved. For a vertical reflect, all you need to do is reflect vertically. Now let's finish off with a horizontal reflect. Which is all you have to do. We're done.
What if we had to do all three at the same time? No problem. Because the substitution method is your best friend. Let me prove it. In a lot of cases you'll have to sketch, but sometimes roughly drawing actual points may help you determine the shape and trajectory. Never underestimate the power of transformations. Chosen one! I loved you! Never ever.